Today we're going to be talking about one tip to elevate your videos, to take them to the next level. And this is a very highly requested topic because today we're talking about sound design. Lately, I've been getting a ton of questions about where I get my sound effects, but also how I use them in my videos to enhance the overall quality and final product of a sequence. Now, before we dive into all of that, the first thing I wanna do is watch the sequence back one more time, but this time without any of the sound effects or sound design that were added in post, we're just going to be watching the footage with the song and see if we notice a difference. Yeah, so as you could probably tell, the video without all of the sound effects feels kind of empty. So in my mind, I like to think of sound design as three separate categories or layers, not including your music, and that is ambience, foley, and sound effects. So ambience or room tone is that bottom layer that sort of bridges the gap between all of those other sounds that you put into the video. No matter what space you're in, there is always going to be some level of room tone unless you're in a very soundproofed studio. Every store or house or building will have its own noises, whether that be the air conditioning or the humming of a computer, the speakers, there will be something in the room making noises. So to have no noise at all seems a little bit awkward and doesn't fit with a visual where you would naturally think there would be some sort of sound. So that's our bottom layer, which is the ambience or the room tone. Moving on, we have our Foley. The way I think about Foley is that it is the literal audible sounds that come from the actions that you see within the video. When someone is peeling the wrapping off of a skateboard, that sound of that crinkling paper, that is Foley. Everybody likes to ask where I get all of these sound effects from, and I thought rather than telling you, I'm just gonna show you. So there's a little glimpse into how I record fully for these types of videos. Right here, I've got my iPhone 7 Plus on a little tripod with the new Rode VideoMic Mi L. This is specific for lightning ports on iOS devices, but you can still get the old version of this microphone, which does plug into the headphone jack on other smartphones. A lot of people like to use audio recorders like this to capture their Foley, and that works totally fine, and you'll get very high quality results. But I actually prefer to use this setup with my iPhone and the Rode Video mic me l because i can actually see what it is i'm recording and use that as a reference when editing so that i can just look through the thumbnail and see exactly what it is that i was recording and it's just easier to line up footage that way and source the clips and you may have noticed that for a lot of these clips i was actually layering multiple sounds to get the result i was looking for for example in that one clip where he pushed the screw through the skateboard deck there were three distinct sounds that i wanted to hear in that particular instance the first being the hard impact of the screw going in. I wanted to hear the of the grip tape. And lastly, I wanted a bit of that metal sound from the screw, which is why I threw the coin off the desk and caught it. 
just to hear a little bit more of that metal reverberation. It's very subtle and you may not even notice it, but for my own satisfaction, I like to throw it in there anyway. Maybe it's subconscious, who knows. Now, another thing worth noting is that the sounds that you choose to use in the video don't necessarily have to be exact or work perfectly. They just have to sell what's going on in the shot. So you might've noticed that there was a clip where he was tightening the bolt onto the wheel of the skateboard and I used that noise, which doesn't actually happen in real life. If you actually listen to someone tighten the bolt onto the wheel, it doesn't do that sound, but I just thought it suited the video and it was a cool clicky sound effect to throw in there. So I went with it and I think it turned out pretty cool. So that is it for the Foley portion of sound design. A lot of you want to know where I get these sounds from. And as you now know, I like to record a lot of them myself using my iPhone with a little microphone. So moving on to the final step in my sound design process, and that is to add all of the little sound effects that will add to the transitions and camera movement of your video. Now I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with the different whooshes and sub drops and booms that you can put into a video. I'll leave a link down below to a couple of the packs that I found that I actually used on this video. So all there's left to do now is to take the three layers of sound design and put it to the music, put that to the video, and here is the final result. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at daniel.schiffer. And as always, I hope you have a beautiful evening.